right back Alan Harper and John Everill who could fill that role are both injured so left footer Andy Hinchcliffe will move across and David Unsworth gets his chance at left back the flourishing youth system at Goodison Park paying dividends for him and another youngster 19 year old Billy Kenley makes his debut for the Blues tonight Rotherham, in contrast, have stability in selection, a team full of experience, and the same 11 who beat Everton in the first leg take to the field. Sean Gota, the Bermudan international, who scored the winner in the first meeting and was thwarted on a number of occasions by Neville Southall. We have an experienced official tonight in Vic Callow, 23 years on the league list. Well, with uh, Liverpool winning three games in a row, the crisis is over at Anfield, but the problems at Goodison Park have been overlooked slightly. Four matches they've lost in succession. They're on a roll at the moment, a roll downhill. Howard Kendall's asking for more consistency in front of goal he's saying that his strikers don't select themselves the back four aren't playing too badly according to the manager and they're led by the captain Dave Watson early touch for the youngster Billy Kenny Andy Hinchcliffe playing in that right back role you're not going to see him use his right foot too much tonight though This is the job that Rideout's been asked to perform as the big striker appealing for uh, at least a free kick there. The referee well placed. An edgy start from both teams. A big where it doesn't have an abundance of tall players to aim for. Watson's joined the attack, Watson gets a header. And not far away at all, the Everton captain. It was only going to go to him or Rideout. The two big men have joined the attack. Watson had a good eye on the ball, but couldn't get it under the crossbar. Gain the chip over the top. Unsworth has let Hazel get the wrong side of him. Chance for Hazel! Oh, so close! Well, there's Hazel having the first chance of the game for Rotherham. And Unsworth was a little bit slow, he's a big lap for a fullback, and this man's got pace, he's going to have to be careful. And again, Rotherham United have practically everybody back in defence. Bigger has found a space though. Right out aiming for Cotty, Johnston just getting there, back to Cotty, twisting and turning, he's dangerous in those situations, and that wasn't far away from Paul Rideout just stabbed his foot at it, he didn't have much time to think. Again, good tigerish play from Cotty. And Rideout had to be quick, trying to catch the goalkeeper napping, he almost did. Watson will slow play down for a second or two, he finds Beagry on the far side. Beagry really does spring high for a little winger. Another short man, Cotty. Unsworth. Horn. Back to Beer Green. Good turn from Beer Green. Good cross as well. That's right. Out. And that's his first goal in senior football for Everton. A mighty weight off the number nine shoulders. A great cross from Beer Green. Right out will thank him for that. He certainly does an excellent cross from Peter Beer Green. He had space. He got it in, not really above head height at all, the cross in a very good header from Ryder. That's why he was bought. Right out chasing Johnson again. Not a pretty clearance, in fact, a pretty awful clearance. Inside again to Ryder. He keeps going, could have had a penalty. It almost proved to be the right decision for Paul Ryder. Almost the second goal. Well, it's amazing what a goal can do for a striker. He's suddenly looking stronger, isn't he? And again, the toe poke, not far away. Half an hour gone. All level on aggregate, of course. If it remains this way, we'll be going into extra time. Beagre's corner, Mercer stays in his line. Long clearance, only Hazel up there, though. 
Right out's onside. It's been the offside trap. That could be a penalty. But Cotty scores. Now, what is the referee going to give here? Well, he has to send Mercer off if he's given a penalty in that situation. A bizarre situation, really. He should have allowed the goal. He blew his whistle possibly too early. The referee. And Mercer goes off. Well, a sad evening. Maybe you ask, should he have stayed on the field? But he certainly took Ride out out of the game. And booze all around Goodison Park. Billy Mercer was once on the staff as a schoolboy here. And his family in the stand aren't going to be too happy with that. He came off his line. It was a one-on-one -on -one situation. He spread his body, but he certainly caught Ride out in a very painful area. Well, it's going to be Nicky Law who's going to go in goal, the centre-half. He's certainly got the height. We'll see what he's like as a goalkeeper. It should be commanding on crosses. He stands about six foot two, six foot three. And Tony Cotty is going to be the first man to test the standing keeper from the penalty spot. say it's justice no problems for Southall in fact a very good pass by the Everton goalkeeper right to the thigh of Beagley a few tricks from him the Everton fans uh, main criticism of the winger is that he doesn't release the ball early enough he gets it again how quickly will he release it he gets it to Unsworth who has space not a bad cross from Unsworth right out there again and proving his worth in the air. Zika is three on three. If he could beat the defender, it's going to be a three on two. Hutchins turns his back on him, comes back again, but Zika makes 20 yards into the area. A left foot shot. And Nicky Law will claim he had it covered. Hinchcliffe reads it well, using his pace rather than the sliding tackle. Good run from Cotty. Checks his onside. Back to Rideout. Rideout with a shot. Oh, not far away for a poor Rideout. Well, he's certainly finding his form tonight for Everton. Every Rotherham player is in and around the 18-yard box. Aimed to the far post. Goes over Watson. Drops for Fazika. A lack of concentration from the polo. Kenny helps him out. Back to Fazika. His mind's on the job this time. Oh, not there. In the area. He's going to have a shot at the keeper. Draws the goalkeeper. The second goal for Paul Rideout. Well, the Everton fans applauding him. He's had a tough time. But Zika certainly not greedy. He could have shot on uh, the goalie, but he saw Rideout in a better position. It was Zika who went by one. The defender won't be happy with his cheeky little nutmeg through the legs of him. But Zika carried on. He threw the keeper. The keeper, I think, was worried about the shot. Rideout in a perfect position. Beagree inside, he likes to shoot from here, he tries to shot, oh, what a save! Well, that's going to go in the family album of the goalkeeper. I don't think Billy Mercer could have done better than that before he got sent off. A good, strong, dipping shot from Peter Beagree. And just underneath the crossbar, a competent save from Nicky Law.